Hi, this is Bill Spatrino. Uh, this is the first Truth Machine in the month of August. Again, we had some, my great producer, Michael Stifler, had, was sick, and we had some other issues going on that we didn't get the Truth Machine out to you, but we will be getting them out to you on a regular basis. Please have patience with us the best that you can. Um, <clears throat> the first thing we're going to talk about today is you know, what's led up to all these shootings, okay? I mean, what people don't realize is there are people in this country that are watching illegal people invade this nation to the tune of, you know, one to five million people a year. And these people come in waving their flags, removing ours, and have like, you know, and have a political party supporting them, okay? And enabling them and running interference for them as long as, as well as the media. Okay. And the, uh, political, most of the political system and the colleges, the educational system. I mean, you just, you, 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 you're not allowed to say anything anymore. Okay. It's so, there's such a liberal bent. And what they don't realize is people, You'll never get rid of the guns in this country. Okay, sorry. And the amount of known guns, not even the ones that are under the table, outnumber the population by more than like two to one. And they're disproportionately proportionally held in the hands of people who are mostly conservative. They know how to use them. Okay. And I mean, if you if you look at history, there hasn't been a case where a bordering nation invades its neighbor that doesn't eventually lead to a civil war in global history, okay? And if things don't change, that's where we're heading, okay? I mean, look what they've done. The liberals have, have filled, the, the illegals have filled up the state of California, turned it from Pete Wilson being the governor and Ronald Reagan winning election in 84, Pete Wilson being the governor in the 80s, I mean, now you can't win. Okay, Colorado, Nevada, all states that used to be, New Mexico, used to be Republican states. They're not anymore, okay? And once they can flip Texas, that's why they did everything they did with Beto. Okay, they wanted a test to see if they could do it and and, and get this. I mean, once they flip Texas, that's when you'll have, and that's that's why they fought it on the census. Okay, see, your... Electoral votes are based on the amount of people, but it's it's the amount of citizens. They're trying to say that they wanted non citizens that the founding fathers wanted non citizens to count. I mean, who believes that? Nobody that has any brains at all believes it's happening. Okay, and I'm not telling you that it's good. I'm just telling you that you know. The people aren't going to be mad. See, I don't think when there's a civil war that people are going to go after minorities. They're going after the establishments in both parties. Okay. Because basically the parties have let this happen. The Republicans had control of the House and Senate. They didn't do anything. They don't care. They didn't help Trump. Nobody has. Okay. And it's just... like I said, it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to end good. And, I mean, Trump, you know, you have Beto, you have uh, that other woman from India and Minnesota, Amy, trying to get her name known. I'm not even going to say it. Um, they, they, they're trying to blame Trump for this, okay? I'm just telling you, I live in the most Democratic district in Ohio, okay, for people that are not of color, okay? And I can tell you something right now. Since I've lived here, okay, when Obama ran against Romney, there was about 25 Obama signs and about 18 Romney signs. When when Trump ran against Hillary, there was 22 Trump and 5 Hillary. Five or six, I don't remember, including my goofy neighbor. Um, 
they don't, the district's changing, okay? See, when you lose the working man, when you lose the white working man, that's been the backbone of the Democratic Party for a long time. And when you're starting to, to run, Obama made it mostly because McCain was probably the worst candidate in history. And Romney, you know, like tw- they're Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Okay. Okay. But you know what it, my nickname for these two guys are? Since McCain wanted to be a soldier, I'm going to call him Gomer Pyle. He was Gomer Pyle because he was a screw-up. And Romney was Thurston Howell III. Okay. Ye God, lovey. What do I do with this? I mean, they, they were both tone-deaf morons, okay, who lived in different worlds, okay. That's, whether you like Trump or don't like him, he has his finger on the pulse of the people in this country, okay, and he understands what the working person He will probably be the last person who was born in the 30s and 40s who will be the president. See, we did not plan these young presidents, okay? The founding fathers wanted you to be 35 in in an average age of 47. Today, the average age is closer to 75. They, They would want someone at least 50 now, okay? I mean, that's what they would want. Obama wouldn't even have been qualified. To do it, not that he was ever qualified to begin with. But, you know, this, I was trying to explain things to people. When you go to Trump rallies, okay, they, people, like, they say that the people there are racist. Yet, there's never been any person of color or any minority of any kind, get hurt at a Trump rally by someone that's Republican. You had a person who mouthed off about Trump and got punched at a Trump rally. They they weren't for they they weren't a Trump person. And the guy that got punched punched was white. Okay, he wasn't black. In fact, I think the guy that hit him was black, but the guy that got punched was white. Okay, because the bottom line is people don't. I'm telling you, I know a lot of the Trump voters. They're not racist. They're not racist people. Some are. I mean, there's, but I see as, I know as many liberals that are racist that I do conservatives. It's, it's, it's really one and the same. Okay. I, I just don't. Someone has to speak out. Okay. And like I tell people all the time, my side is loaded up with guns. I mean, and this is the story you have to ask yourself about the invasion. Imagine this story, and you can tell this to a liberal, and I've said it before, but I want to try to get it illustrated to you. Think of having, I think about my daughter's graduation last week. We had a beautiful party. We had a candy table, okay? And her school had orange thing. We had orange Twizzlers, orange Pez, orange M&Ms, orange Reese's. It was great. And then we had a dessert table with pit sinks to my mother-in-law and father-in-law. We had pit cells. We had my grandma Carrie's S cookies with the sprinkles. Okay. We had chocolate chips. I mean, it was, if you didn't enjoy the desserts at this party, we had cannolis. Okay. If you didn't enjoy the, the, the food, we had brachot. We had pasta. Okay, we had chicken piccata. Now imagine having this big party, okay? And everybody brought their gifts. Now imagine the people, imagine you're throwing this party and 30 people come in, let's say 100 people, come in, push all your people out of the way, eat all the food, which if you can eat all the food with, with my group, that's probably about 3,000 people, okay? Because I don't think 100 people could eat all that food. We brought, we had so many leftovers. We had shrimp. Okay. It, it, it was fantastic. Okay. It was, it, it was, a, it was a huge. Now imagine you, but you go to sit down and eat that and some groups of people just come in. They eat everything. They, they push all your people out of the way and then they hand you the check. So you got to pay for it. Okay. That's, 
In what planet does that make any sense? Okay, see, someone has to pay for something. I was at a party the other night, and I asked somebody, I said, who's paying for this? They said, I don't know. Well, somebody's got to pay. It's not, nothing's free, okay? And that's what's happening in this country. People are just agitated, okay? They're agitated. Okay, Do I feel sorry for people who come here illegally that get shot? Honestly, I don't. I don't feel sorry for them. They don't, they don't belong here. I don't like anybody getting shot, but when you're not supposed to be doing something and you're doing it, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be doing it. Okay. Um, the other thing I'm going to talk about, and it gets no play in the media at all, is, and this will tie into the stock part, is the rioting that's going on in China, okay, uh, in, in Hong Kong. With, and, and you can Google, uh, you got to look for it, okay? You got to go on, there's a, I, I don't have the, the thing in front of me, but there's a Hong Kong news feed, and you can see everything that's going on in the, new, in the, in the thing. I mean, they're having massive riots. They're trying to blame it on the United States, okay? And I, I'm just telling you something, and this is a message to President Trump as well. And I mean, those guys, the people that know me know I'm an investor. My portfolio went down immensely on Thursday and Friday, okay? it's I took a seven-figure hit, okay? However, I don't care. I mean, I care. I, I, I wish I wouldn't have. But as far as I'm concerned, President Trump's doing the right thing. These people just want to blame everybody, okay? I will say this once. I'll say this a thousand times. Communism doesn't work, okay? It's like the Democratic Party, okay? It's the same thing. They want you, they tell you to do things that they themselves don't do, okay? That can't work. Just like I have said many times about the Democrats. They want abortion, but not for their mother. They want higher taxes, but not for them. They want gun control, but their bodyguards are allowed to have the guns. And they don't want to kill murderers, but they want to kill newborn babies. Okay, If that makes, and they want to tax everybody, and they want everybody to have free college, well, and forgive everybody's student loans, well, that's fine. But what about the people that paid their student loans? Are they going to get anything? But they want reparations for people, okay, who... But, I mean, how do you figure any of this? And the worst thing is they want to pay for illegals' health care. Okay, who's paying for this? Okay. Look, the Democratic cities, Trump was right to call these people out. He's not a racist. That money went to Baltimore. No one can find the money that was sent there. And, and you know what's funny? Money, when it disappears, no one can find it. Okay. I'll tell you where it is. It's in some person's pocket. It probably was spent at a strip club or a Cadillac dealership or a Corvette dealership or Lamborghini or Tesla or somebody spent the money. Somebody took it. The money's not just hidden somewhere. Somebody stole it. They took money that wasn't theirs. Okay. And it happens every day in this country. Look up Hillary Clinton when she was in in charge of the State Department. They was like, I don't know how many millions of dollars were lost. They don't know where they don't know what happened to it. I mean, that's what's wrong in this country. Every single big city that's run by the Democratic Party is messed up. I'm not saying the Republicans are great. I'm just saying at least they get the work done before they steal the money or misappropriate it. I know a guy that used to work in an organization. I'm not going to name him or the organization. Did not incriminate him. Every time something went through there, he got a kickback from people. But everything got done in his organization. Nobody complained. They spent money and they got services rendered. This country, the city of Baltimore, had billions of dollars pumped into it. And I'm telling you, the people stole the money. Okay. And someone says, Billy, you, you're, you're making a very... Okay, I want whoever that works in those articles to sue me. Sue me for defamation so that I can do discovery and we'll find out where the money actually went. Okay. Of course, nobody's going to sue me. Because they know I'm right. Okay. Somebody took the money. 
Okay, just like it'd be like leaving a tray of cannolis on a table. Somebody's going to eat them. Don't you guys see that? If you're voting Democratic, you've got to ask yourself, what the heck's the matter with you? Okay, you're insane. You're, you're literally insane. Okay. You're insane because you're backing people. Now, look, if you backed like John Kennedy or even Bill, Bill Clinton, he wasn't insane. Okay, they were they were they were far to the left, but that's I can deal with left and right. We can have a debate about things. This does any person think we should be paying for illegals to come here, paying all their their legal expenses and stuff? And if you do think it, how much of your check do I do, can I come over and take? Just like if you have people coming here illegally, how many do you want staying in your backyard? Sleeping in your kid's bed where they have to go outside and sleep. Or they got to get to sleep in a closet. Okay. Somebody's got to pay. And you got to get that through your head. I had a good friend of my, me, mine, Ian. And he had, I mean, he just had so many lefties. And I hit him with all these statistics and, and gave them to him. And he was just unloading on these people. Okay, about the... African American unemployment being the lowest ever. The female being the lowest in 75 years. Hispanic, lowest unemployment. More people are working now than ever before. The country's fine. The stock market's up $10 trillion since Trump's been elected. $10 trillion! Do you know what that is? Do you know how many people are helped by that? Someone said, Well, Billy, you made a lot of money on that. I did! A lot of money. But guess what? My daughter's music teacher, my landscaper, both her music teachers, people that I buy autographs and pinballs from, they all benefit. See, that's just it. The money moves around. The more you have, the more you spend. Okay? This thing, the stock market did drop the other day. Folks, look. China's China's struggling between the trade war that Trump's hitting them with they have been problems in their banking industry. The whole thing is a pyramid. See, people think that that numbskull Chris Wallace was on talking to, to Peter Navarro today, and he was trying to tell Navarro about, um, you know, the prices of everything have gone higher because of these tariffs. Look, people figure it out. I'm just telling you what's going on with the tariffs and how they work. China is using the money that we make that we give them to take us over. Okay, it'd be like if you were, I was making a deal with you and you make 100000 a year and I make 100000 but I say, give me your 100000 and I'll give you 5000 And we keep doing that. Eventually, I'm going to own your house. I'm going to have your car and I'm going to have all your fun. And eventually, your family's going to come over and stay with me because they're gonna, not going to have any money. They're not going to have any place to stay. So you see what's going on. China is doing that. What no one understands is China is not a consumer-driven economy. People say, Billy, you don't understand China. I'll tell you what I understand. I understand that they have four times the amount of people we have, and they don't spend as much money on things as we do. What does that tell you? It tells you they're not going to spend $20 on a teddy bear. Okay, Not happening. Just not happening. Okay. This, Trump understands what, what's going on, and he knows that these, I'm telling you, these people in Hong Kong, these young people, they're mad. This Carrie Lam needs to step down, but she won't step down because the communists that run the country are tone deaf. They are tone deaf. They don't, they're like the people here that thought Hillary was going to win. They, they're living in another world. The world is changing. It's constantly changing. And I'm telling you, you saw it with Brexit. You saw it with Trump's election. People are tired of nonsense. Okay, They're not tired of nonsense. They're tired of it. And it, it's not going to change. Okay, But we have to keep fighting the good fight. Um, football season is getting ready to start. And, you know, of course we get excited about it. And it's the time of year that, you know, but 
I'd rather, since we're we're in between seasons right now, I'm going to use the last thing to talk about the Democratic debates. I mean, Joe Biden, and I mean, look, he's the only one that can beat Trump in my mind, okay? Mike Bloomberg, people think he's going to, can beat Trump. He He's not, look, I can tell you something right now. In my neighborhood, when I grew up, we were mostly Jewish and Italian. No Jewish or Italian person is ever going to become president of the United States. Not happening. Okay, I'm qualified, but I'm just saying, I, I, I don't want the job anyhow. But it, it's not happening. Okay, not going to happen. Sorry, not going to happen. Um, Michelle Obama, look, we can call her Mike Robinson or him. I, I, I mean, look, Obama, she's there to, to, to grab money. She, she don't want to run for president. You got to account for yourself. And what is she, what qualification does she have? Someone said, well, Billy Trump was a, Trump ran a business. He was in the entertainment business. He was in the book business. Okay, he's a real estate guy. Okay, he understands how to negotiate deals. He's negotiated billion dollar deals. Okay. What have these people done? They haven't done anything. I mean, Mike Bloomberg's a qualified person. He's just not going to win. Howard Schultz, he's another one. He's not going to win. Okay. I'm telling you, no Jewish person is going to be elected president. The same way no Italian person is going to be elected president. It's not a, someone said, Billy, you're being racist. I'm, I'm just telling the truth. I'm an investor. It's my job. I'm telling you. Just like I told you about a civil war. And I told you I'm not sorry for the people that got shot that are here illegally. If they're an American, I don't care. See, I don't care if you're a legal immigrant. I, my grandparents were legal immigrants. Great grandparents. Okay. We're legal Im- immigrants. Okay. I don't care. The people, if you come to this country, I want you to love, they love the country. I remember my step grandfather one time went to Italy and he came back and he said, God, I love America. I was in, he was in Italy for two or three weeks to see his sister. And he said, I kissed the ground. He was so happy. He said, You don't realize how, and this guy was as Italian as the day is long. But he loved America. He loved the freedom of it. Okay. That he got to work and actually make money. Okay. It wasn't people just taking your money from you. But Biden is just, he's the only one that has a chance. But I mean, he just said, Joe, 30 30. I mean, 30 30, Joe? You don't know what year it is? Joe, Democrats, next year is 20. 20. The year 3030, you'll be like a thousand years old. Okay. And plugs, you don't look like you're going to make it more than five or 10 years. Okay. Dude, you made so many. I'm not even going to talk about all your mistakes on the the thing. Your biggest mistake is going there. Okay. You're just, you're going to be Trump's punching bag. If you think that you can take, I'll just give you a little thing to end this. In Rocky IV, when they ask him about fighting this Russian, he's gonna, he said to the guy, he said, look, this guy's never fought anybody tough before. I'm going to go 15 rounds with him, and I'm willing to die. We're going to see if he is too. Trump is going to hit Biden so freaking hard. He's not hitting him now because I, I, sometimes I think he wants him to win so he can just beat him up, okay? But he's hitting him so hard. Okay, right now, if you ask me, Billy, who do you think they're going to nominate? I think the fake Indian. I really think the fake Indian is the best candidate because they, you have to get a progressive and you have to get a woman. And the hooker, I just think she has too many issues with, I mean, what's she going to hit Trump with? Okay, she, she's, she's pretending to be black. She's not black. Okay, she's half Jamaican. She can't hit Trump on on, on on his character with um you know his adultery and his his past transgressions. She slept with a, that married guy, Jerry uh, um um Willie Brown. Okay. Look him up. Kamala, he'll be doing an ad, I'm telling you. If you pay this guy enough money, I told one of my political guys, we're gonna pay him enough money, he's gonna say, he's gonna look at the camera and say, Kamala! How my dictate? 
Okay. And they're going to dress him up like Stymie. Okay, or Buckwheat. Okay. He'll do it for that. If, if you pay that guy enough money, he'll do it. I mean, he's he's just like every other politician. You give him the right amount of money, and they'll they'll do whatever you say. Okay, look at little Marco and all. You see, it's not a party thing, people. These people that get into politics, 98% of them are the biggest stooges you'll ever see in your life. Okay, they're stooges. They go in, they're not worth any money. They come out, they're worth 10 million, 40 million, 30 million. You know, yeah. Look, I don't even care that they do it, except they don't do their jobs. Since Joe Biden's been in Congress for the 50 years, the national debt has gone from like a half a trillion to 20. And you know what he's done about it? He's made 15 or 20 million the last two years. He finally did give to charity, though. He didn't give 1% like he did a couple years before that. Okay. Him and that big windbag, Al Gore. Folks, we're going to keep doing this. Please subscribe. Tell everybody you know about this. We're going to get it going. We're going to start doing it on a regular basis. We just, you know, we get when things come up, they come up. Okay, and we've got to make sure we don't have any advertisers. We're doing this. I'm funding all this myself because I know it's a great thing. Keep telling everybody you know. So from behind the wheel of the truth machine, this is Bill Spatrino asking you to sit back and enjoy the ride.